Yeah, you bet. I'm going to win the shirt. Yeah, I got a good chance today. I'm cosmically prepared. Well, this is going to be a neophyte winning today. Well, it's not going to be the person you expect, and, and I'll tell you why. Jump Street one winter when we were cooped up indoors and didn't have anything to do, so we played indoor croquet. And then when it got springtime, we moved to outdoor croquet, and we had a broken down van that we needed to get rid of, so we decided to have a tournament. That was the original croquet tournament, yeah. We were sitting, living on 106 Jones Street in uh, Chapel Hill, and it was, it was a great house. And we had this beautiful lawn out the front. Craig Perry and Dan Collins, Country Dan Collins and I were living on Jones Street, and Craig got this croquet set out of the back of an attic or somewhere. I know, but I'm not sure I'm ready to reveal the secret. In search of ancient croquet. It started with Catherine Boyer and Bland Simpson long ago um, on the lawn of a house that they had in Chapel Hill. And then it continued. That was the very first, that was the original cosmic croquet game that very few people know about to this day. <laughs> we had this old croquet set that Bland Simpson had left. He used to live with Craig's sister, Craig Perry's sister. He used to live there, and so we had this old croquet set. And I had this van. We were getting moved. And I didn't have anything to do with this van. I mean, I didn't have any way to get rid of it. And it was, it wouldn't run, you know, and the tires were flat, and the engine wouldn't, it wouldn't even start. So what was I going to do with the van, right? We didn't have a cliff nearby to push it over. And so I said, I'm just going to do it. We're getting moved out. we got to get rid of this fucking van. We'll have a croquet tournament and give away his first prize. <laughs> and that's what we did. That was the first annual Jump Street Invitational Cosmic Croquet Tournament. OK, we got the participants for the fourth heat. We got David Zucchino of the Jones Street Boys. And that was, has all led to this. Now we have six tournaments a year. Each tournament has five rounds, consisting of 16 heats in the first round, eight in the second, four in the third, then it's down to the semis, and then the finals. The top three finishers in each heat advance to the next round. Cosmic croquet wickets are gaping wide, right? Yeah! It's a lot more fun to see people make a wicket and have somebody make a wicket than it is to miss a wicket, isn't it? Yeah, I got a shot. This tournament's mine. I got my balls on ice. I'm sitting on my mallet. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, I'm, I'm ready. There are 96 people playing. Gene of Uranus B team. The Paradise Palookas. Well, you start out with 16 heats, and you go to eight, uh -huh. and you go to four. And then you take the top three out of each heat. Poker face crybabies. Wow, wow. 
Wow. Lynn Gosnell, Stone Rangers. Cookie Stevens, Diesel. They're setting up the heat. Oh, did these? These are the heat cards. Hand printed, yeah. I play for the Mallet support. And we're the Chicken Croquette team. I myself am on the Horseshoe Lalas. Uh, well, we try and set up the heat so we win. And you happen to catch us no, in wait, the act. Scratch too. that. Scratch that. <laughs> it's the people who are basically in the business of deception who do well in these tournaments, I think, on the whole. Uh, press, you know, journalists. We've just fallen in the first round to people of greater experience and talent, but I'd like to urge all the fans to come out for a great afternoon of social fun, relaxation, and recreation amongst beautiful Tong Sun Park. Right, Thank you. All right. We got one more shot. All right. All on that. Good shot. That's all right. Just slow, little, 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 little back. All right, go straight through the wicket. Push it. Push it off. Push it to the, push it to your left. Through the wicket. All right. Play, play perfect. Play perfect. Play perfect. Hit it. What brought me out here today? Anticipation. Anticipation. The anticipation is just... Oh. Oh! Henry's lost his head. Lost his head, yeah. Henry's a Wyatt classic. Organization by Henry's Heroes. That's us. Henry of Comic Henry? Fame. What kind of question is that? Henry. 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 He's our idol. Really? We look up to Henry. Who is Henry? What kind of Henry? question is Henry? I get a message from Henry every day. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in the morning. We started playing croquet, and we thought we knew how to play until Craig, Craig T. Perry gets down on his knees and starts shooting, and we start to go, hey, you can't do that. But then we said, well, why can't he? We didn't know he couldn't, you know. I mean, it was, you know, we didn't know the rules good enough to know that he couldn't do it. And so we, hell, I wouldn't let him beat me by doing it, so I got down on my knees too, you know. Most people get what you call your ground stroke. Down here, see, this is a ball. And just imagine I have a mallet here, and you push the mallet on the ground. It's rather like ground pull. So you get a lot of stress on this knee. And if this knee were to give out and uh, you were to fall over, you'd, be, you'd lose it, you know. So you got to have a strong knee. Um, other than the knees, you know, if you're a Capricorn, then uh, you stand a good chance. But uh, if you're a Scorpio, you got strong genitals, you know, that doesn't get you anywhere. You've got more control, you've got more uh, aim. You can, uh... we're into gratification, basically. One shot. Well, I'm trying to learn how to play cosmic croquet and come out alive at the end, uh, but I have no illusions. Okay, they call your name, you put your ball down, you go through the two wickets here and then you go down to that wicket. You got to make that wicket and you go back to the middle wicket. And if you make the middle wicket, you go back out to down to that wicket. You go through that wicket and you go down to the, the two wickets down there and hit the steak. I think that's the filet mignon steak down there and the sirloin steak up here. You can conceivably go all the way around the course by picking up shots. You pick up shots by going through another wicket and, hit, and, and hitting other balls. You can hit each ball three times. And then if you hit the ball and then you go through a wicket, then you've got two shots because you've hit the ball and you've got a wicket. So suddenly now you've got two shots. 
Okay. When you get through making the hitting the steak, you come back out, and slice you a big cheese, a big thin slice of cheese. You know, and get on out here, and then you're going, you're on your run home. You go through this first weekend on your turn. You make it. You go back to the middle and get through the DMZ if you if you're able. You go back out to the third wicket, make your turn. Then you're going home free. You go home. You hit the wicket. And then all the girls run up and grab you, and you know, you just have a big time. Yeah, and it's, that's when the groupies come in. That's my favorite part. Is that right? Oh. Beginner's luck counts a lot in Cosmo Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two left on brown and purple. One shot. One left on brown. Move over there near purple. Two left on purple, dead on brown. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. All right, Todd. Pretty shot. Two left on brown, three left on red. One good shot. Angle. You can easily pick up two shots with a slam that red real strong. Two left on brown. One shot. Two shots. Look at that angle. One left on red. That's ball. Tom Sullivan's using it now, and it's won its first heat today. Not one, place third, but it goes on. The death ball. Playing like a man repossessed. I just painted it last time. I've wanted to do it for a long time, but uh, I painted a little skull with horns on it and crossed mallets underneath. And it won seven out of nine matches last time. And I voted for rookie ball of the year. Four shots. Well, there used to be some old ones like the Planet Earth and the Angry Red Planet, but the Death Ball's the new one, I think. One shot, one left on each. Finish. Use his balls right. Maybe you use one and carry him on so I'm not over. Yeah, don't run. One left on each. Where's the record? What happens if you hit a ball that you're dead on? Hurry, ball! Well done, Tom. Well struck. That's all right. Jeff Seepy. She whipped him? Yeah. Maggie whipped Chris. Maggie's not playing anymore. Oh, Maggie! Yeah! That's great. That's great. Catch me in the fifth round. Craig is watching. Anything can happen. I finished third. Third in my heat, but I beat Craig Perry. Oh. <laughs> That's my triumph. Please, what's the strongest part of your game? I think my ability to hit a spot is the, is the strongest part, to, to get the ball to land where I want it to land. Oh, the hide and the trigger. Okay, yeah, trigger. Trigger. All right, when you come out of the fr first two wickets, you're sitting here with two, you're sitting pretty. So you gotta make your first approach, the most important shot of the game. The ideal shot for your setup in, uh, is to go beyond the next wicket. That way, if you can get set up in a position past the first wicket, beyond it, then when you go looking for your second shot, you're looking through the wicket that you've got to make, the first wicket, back toward the middle wicket, which is the direction that you're taking. Good trigger position is what we call it. We drive right on through the first wicket with that good trigger back to the middle wicket, the swamp of the course, the DMZ, the Black Hole of Calcutta. And if you get the proper shot through that first setup and come hard enough, then who knows, you might have another angle here, another setup to where you're driving through the middle back toward the third wicket. More trigger. Now, you've got one more shot. Chances are you're not going to be able to make that third wicket. Chances are you might not want to. Then you need to set up. You need to set up high because people are going to be coming behind you. Nobody likes to be a pigeon. Defensively defensive position is what you're looking for. You just take the angle that you would want and extend it away from the wicket. So you're actually got the same angle. You're just leaving yourself more, more distance toward that wicket, and you're also getting yourself out of harm's way. So then you're ahead of the game. So that's, that's, that's the, pretty much the most basic element of strategy. The wicket's bigger than the ball. It's every man for himself in this game. I think it, it's beneficial to kind of be a, a villain at times. But it's, it's not always true. Sometimes the ball is bigger than the wicket. It depends on your angle of, of trajectory and um, uh, angular momentum. You know, you try to intimidate your opponent. It, it gives you that much more of an edge. He's pretty ruthless, but that, that alone really doesn't, doesn't make for, for greatness as a croquet player, as we all know. And he took the mallet and he bashed me with it, you know? Um, well, I'd like to respond to that with, 
in a positive manner. The mm -hmm. ball always breaks toward the ocean. So no matter how flat the ground is, you're always going to have a little bit of break, and it's going to go toward the ocean. I guess, I guess you could say that loose pulley is great in, in, in a certain sense. Um, by virtue of his having won years ago many, many tournaments, you know. But we really, you really can't, you know, that, that's one form of greatness, but another form and an equally relevant. So uh, I'd like someday to maybe, you know, maybe go to, uh, to another country and play like, um, like India. And you'd, you'd have an, a whole new ocean to work with. The one is, what, uh, is, is greatness in the form of winning now. The up and coming players, great play. Great play distinguishes a, uh, um, um, a great croquet player. Antarctica or something. I think that'd be nice because the ocean, you know, is, I haven't had anything, any sensible thought in my mind for the last week. And that's why you totally get prepared for cosmic croquet. <laughs> Hey, we call it here. Yeah, it's just a light shower. Cool things off. Just, it was just a mix up. All we're supposed to have is a shower. Well, I think these clouds will blow over in a minute. They've promised us good weather from Charlotte. You know, it's bad shape, really. Boom! Boom! Well, that's ball! Death! Ball! Death! Ball! It's not quite so dark right behind all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think I see a light on the horizon. Ah, this is nothing. Just a little thunder shower. But we didn't get any bad weather for a long time. A lot of years we go without any rain at all. We thought we might have a direct link somewhere, you know. But uh, evidently the gods are angry at us. If you can hear them out there. We must have done something hard, John. Can't say pissed off, can you? Okay. We must have done something to make them angry. I think we'll have to sacrifice a virgin or something to give them, you know, back on our side. But we can't find any, you know? <laughs> Nobody invited him. Here's one, okay. Here's one, okay. He's a walker. A mermaid. <laughs> This one? Yeah, I can look like he can. It's awful thick. This is a big shot, Lee. Very good. Hard. Pop it. Very good job. Well, it looks tough for the crybabies. Well, he's trying to finish, but but he's only carrying one shot now. And the guy in the suspenders is coming up behind him. If he hits him, he could send him into the woods. What's he going to do here? So Lee's going to have to set up in front of the finishing wickets, and, and this guy's coming behind him. If he hits them, it won't be pretty. Uh oh. oh now he's going to get abused. Now, see? Look what he is doing. See what he is doing. <laughs> Just have to brass it out. Get him, boy. Stick him. Okay, what are you up to, sir? What? 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 He's got two shots. You put it right on my foot. Go for the black. No, forget the black. Aim for right here. Aim for my football. Yeah, give him some room. Come on, coaches. Get it together. I'll coach you. Two shots would be right here on my foot. Look at one. Nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. 
They play to win, but they play square. Put it in there, Lee. The crybabies have taken another one. All right, how many? How many? Three uh, of the four crybabies have gone on to the second round now. There it is. All right, there, there it, it is. is. It was a good shot. It was a good stroke. Win. Death ball. Death ball. Death ball. Death ball. Death ball. Come down this way. Where the action is. Because he went, he had four, yeah. and he went through and picked up one. No, he had three. He, he had three, but he went through and picked up one. Out. Okay, yeah. Okay, All then right, you got five. Then he's got five. five now. Get Lay up behind that red one, then. Do it again, Tom. You can hit that with the black one. Still five. One left on one red. One left on red, two left on black. Oh, six. Hit it. Six shots. Six shots. Set off, Tom. Should be death right now. Should be death. Make it. Pop it, straight up. All right. Six shots. Tom, you have enough coaches here? Ward is kibitzing, I believe. Five shots. Five shots. Line up low. Wait a minute, time out. Looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah. Just, just set up, just set up. Death ball. Three shots, three shots on the way. Don't miss off. Death ball. The death ball. Hold on, let me get a snapshot of this. incredible. Uh, me and the death ball, we go back a long way. <laughs> U.S. croquet rules. Um, completely different from cosmic croquet. It's played with heavier equipment and smaller wickets, so you only have the clearance of a nickel when your ball passes through. But I don't want to trade U.S. croquet for cosmic. I love them both. But um, probably have more fun playing cosmic than you do U.S. croquet. That's serious business. <laughs> you see all these fucking chicks around here? I mean, it's unbelievable that everybody's trying to be so mellow. They're not bad. They're not bad. I see lots of nice grass skirts and short shorts. A little coquettish, perhaps? Now it's going to come up like this. We're getting it cosmic. I think I take them all. H to own tunnel vision. Yeah, yeah. It gives you your tunnel vision. You know, when when you see a ball, you know you're not seeing grass. You're not. It's called tunnel know. vision, and you get that from driving to Detroit a lot because you have to go through three tunnels in West Virginia. But you get tunnel vision, which enhances concentration. Right. You know how when you've got horses that have those little squares on the sides of their eyes. Blinders. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same. Concept. You're not seeing, you know, anything else around. You're not seeing camera equipment or, or, or pants or anything. You're seeing one big tunnel, and even breaks for you. You know, you can even see that tunnel coming out with breaks sometimes. You know, hitting it right on, man. Yeah, tunnel vision. That's what. That's what it's good for. Why is it called cosmic I never did find that out. <laughs> Hey, what's the situation here? What's going on? Tom? Well, Rico's already finished first, and these three guys here are all set up to finish second and third to make the semis. Hmm. Oh, I was going to be disappointed about that. Barracuda! 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 Thanks, Dick. Thanks, Dick. Got it. Woo! 
tried to give him the van, he just wouldn't take it. Did y'all have the mic on when the explosion went off? <laughs> I'm currently tied on the all-time win list with the greatest player of all time, Country Dan Collins. Was it loud over here? Yes, it was very loud. We, good, thought, we good. thought it was the end. There's quite a rivalry between Country Dan and McKee Lee. And he's he's almost always in the later rounds. I believe he's his career is on, on a downhill slide, there's no question. And I understand he has a progressive nervous disorder too, which is gonna make him unable to hold a mallet within a matter of months. So I think it's important to build him up by saying nice things about him while we can. Yeah, there is that rumor that I'm over here, but normally I'm the one that spreads it, you know. <laughs> Let's me get by, you know. They're not looking for me, not blindsided. Did y'all like a gin tonic? Yeah, there are croquet bubblegum cards. The stats on the back. It's a little sort of a personal glimpse into the players. Probably the side that you won't see out on the croquet course. It also has their, their, their past st statistics, uh, many hobbies they may have, any outside interests, um, the color of their eyes, their birth date, where they went in the croquet draft, things like that, the college they attended. Uh, see, this, you put this on the wrong sheet. Oh, okay, I just assumed that was the next one up. Okay. Keith yeah, Richardson put, I mean, and then Bill Flynn in here. Wait a minute, let me see that second one. You just the three was uh, Gary Christ. All right, let me have some of them pineapples. The last two from uh, round 16 go in heat eight. We still got a first round heat out? Oh, I want that shirt. Oh, you want that shirt? Good luck. You got the shirt, Tom. You keep playing like you've been playing. Oh, yeah? The shirt is yours. I got it. Uh, who do you think is going to win this thing? Me or Country Dan Collins. I'm on, yeah, I'm on, I'm, I'm on. No, I'm I think I'll choke. <laughs> I think I'll choke, I, I. Either myself or Moose or Country Dan or David or any one of 50 others. Don Forey, uh, it's a sure bet. Well, Moose, it looks like Sullivan's in it, you're still in it, Rico's in it, Country's in it. But the big question on all of our minds is, with the rain delay today, do you, do you really think you're gonna finish this thing? Oh, we're gonna finish. We're definitely gonna finish somehow. We'll bring out the car lights again. It won't be the first time. <laughs> the finals! One, two, three. Tom Holland! It just takes one turn. One shot. We don't need any progress for this one. Diamond Tom Sullivan! I'm ready. This is it. This is what I've waited for. Harry O'Neill! Rocky That's Candy! Right. Let me go, the final! The first shot of the final. Hey, give me on both of them. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well go for both of them. I got it. Tom, you know. 
I'm trying to say, I know, I know, and I can't see where the middle wicket's at. Yeah. Give me up a little higher because that's not as much of an angle coming well, yeah, up that ball. Yeah, I know, I know. The line up on it right now. All right, Tom, let's go straight to the wicket. Well, you're through. He made it. 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 Go deep. Right. Oh, what a, what a referee, man. Go He's deep. into it. You're going to stop the Oh, what a pal! Go These deep, Henry's Tom. heroes put on a tournament, don't they? Look at that. Okay, Gene. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Good work. Go deep. Go deep, Tom. Go deep, Tom. Oh. Oh, straight ahead, Tom. It's just so skinny. You mean Tom Collins? <laughs> <laughs> Drill it, Rico. There you go. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, what you got? What you got here? Clear the court. Clear the court. Clear the court. These boys are disturbing my rhythm. Bob, they're disturbing my rhythm. Okay. So what I got? Just black. What about this green one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going for green. Rico, 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 Just three fun, 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 just three fun. Just missed it. Moose is up. I'm glad I'm not here. All right, all right. All right, you're all right, Moose. Yeah. Let me see if I can pay him a visit. Moose, you might want to go for the wicket. Whoa. <laughs> Too late now. Too late now. I'll be back. I want to go long to the left. Don't have a miss. Give me a toe on him, Gary. Oh. Hey, okay, the main man. Every possible alternative thundering through his head. Let's finish it up. Show the camera. Show the camera. 